Hey everybody, my name is Katemo. Welcome back for another video of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're back with it, boys. Skipped uh, a day of upload for uh, because uh, I needed some uh, fresh time and I was uh, working a lot, so I just wasn't feeling that like doing a video for uh, yesterday. But today we have a brand new video for this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Well, first off, before starting the main mission, right? I am going to go ahead and collect that Dragon Ball right here. They're, uh, they bring, they were bring back up um, uh, with the previous Dragon Balls I got on my own free time. I went ahead and um, uh, revived Dodoya and Zarbon, both of them, which respawned in the same map, basically. So we're going to interact with both of them. I think they both have to interact with Gohan, so I think we're good. We're just gonna go ahead and go uh, do whoever this is. I think this one is uh, Zarban. Yeah, th that's what it is. So let's interact with uh, him or her, whoever what that is. But interact with him first, and uh, afterwards we'll do Dororia, get that Dragon Ball, and afterwards we're gonna start that uh, the next saga, I guess, boys. I'm here to make sure you learned uh, your lesson. <laughs> I see. So it was you who revived me and brought me to this strange planet. But you're different from how I remember you. What? Wait, you know who I am? Yes. Hmm. Do you fa do you take me for a fool? Your hair color your hair color is not the same, but you're you're that nuisance of a kid from Namek, aren't you? I get that I guess that saves me some time then. I want you to promise me you won't cause trouble anymore. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't make that kind of promise. What? <laughs> there is there is no beauty in doing so. If you truly, truly wish to persuade me, you'll have to do it by force. Fine then, here I come. Alright, let's do it, boys. Let's persuade him, as he says. I'm level 70, he's only level uh, 31. I just counterattacked him, I just knocked him the fuck out. Just for one uh, counterattack, that's crazy. I see, you are certainly aren't, uh, are strong. I beg you. Please give up your evil ways. I saw what you guys did on Namek. I saw you commit horrible acts of cruelty. <laughs> and, how no, and now I'm being mocked by a child. Fine. Very well. Allow me to demonstrate the power of which even the Ginyu Force knows nothing. <laughs> Alright, he transformed. That's not gonna do shit. It looks like you're rather started uh, by my power. I'm startled by his appearance, really. There is no turning back now. You're dead. No, I'm not. You're nothing. What do you mean? You're only level 32. What kind of upgrade is that? You still aren't shit to me. You still can't even touch me, my guy. Alright. So, you still planning on causing trouble? No. No, I've had my fill. Hmm. I acknowledge your superior strength. That part of your, uh, your rivals... No, it perhaps even surpasses that of Lord Frieza. It surpasses, uh, it surpassed it a long time ago, my guy. Fine. Power that great, that great should not be wasted. I can show you how to wield it properly. What do you mean? <laughs> well, we'll use it to rule over the entire galaxy. What? So you mean, <laughs> yes, I will change my ways. And you'll continue to grow stronger. So strong that no one will dare ta challenge us. Additionally, I will assist you with your training whenever you wish. What? <laughs> there will be no limits to the beautiful heights we can reach together. Should I just leave him like this? Well, it seems like he's really giving up his evil ways. So I guess I should not uh, worry too, too much. Alright, here he goes, boys. So we got Zarbon. Guess he's gonna help us uh, train. Right? And all this shit is gonna obviously only be a community board type of thing, but it is what it is. Like, like I said a long time ago, uh, in the previous videos and stuff, uh, he's actually a training guy, alright. Um, well, no, he is definitely a bad guy, uh, go on. But like I was saying, I feel like they, instead of being just a community board, they can be that, but they, can, they should also be a Z fighter. Like, not during the main storylines, but during the, the side quests and all. You should be able to just use them as you see fit. Like, actually use them. That would be pretty awesome. Really awesome, boys. I just wish that was a thing, really. That's all I'm gonna say. 
All right, so let me just uh, use the the stuff on him really quick. All right, that's done, boys. So I went ahead and just equipped uh, the all the community emblem stuff that I needed to equip. Now we can head out towards the Doria and also towards the Dragon Ball. I am gonna try to collect the Dragon Balls, but if it tells me that I can't collect them, it's fine as well. You know, I don't necessarily have to like equip them or collect them per se. I'm just gonna uh, if in my way on my way. I will do it. But uh, unless it's really anything like uh, aside from that, like I'm not gonna purposely try to go for them while I'm on the, uh, doing a video and stuff. Um, while I'm doing videos, I'm on, I'm not connecting these Dragon Balls. That's all I'm gonna say. So I'm doing all this on my own free time and reviving everyone on my own free time, and we fight them on video. So, all right, let me say really quick, uh, the Doya, your time now, your turn. Who the hell are you? Huh? I got no beast with a twerp like you. Well, uh, actually, we actually met on Planet Namek. All right, I wasn't Super Saiyan then. What the hell are you nomming about? Wait, did you say Namek? You're you're that little punk that kid that kicked me back then, aren't you? Well, you deserved it for what you did to the people of Namek. Why do I get the? Why do I gotta listen to a whiny peach squeak like you? I have I've cleared entire planets with my bare hands, and I can do that to the same to you, punk. You're in for a rude awakening, then. I'm a lot stronger now. Oh yeah. You look like the same little twerp to me. If you don't believe in it, then check your scouter. What? There we go. What the? There. See how strong I am? This guy. This scouter's gotta be busted or something. There's no way you got that strong. Damn it! Enough of this crap. I'm just gonna get straight to the clobbering. You ain't gonna do shit. What level are you, my guy? Same as uh, the Dora. Can't do shit. Get the fuck out of here. There we go. They're useless, boys. They're powerless against me. Too strong. Promise you won't do anything evil again. I promise. From here on out, you're going to use your power for good. You got it. All right, that was pretty easy, man. Pretty easy to just convince them and stuff. Holy shit. That literally took nothing. All right, well, that was it, I guess. Uh, there's another community board. What is he? He's, a, he's also a training partner. Interesting. So I'm just gonna go ahead then and collect the Dragon Ball and head out to for the main mission, finally. All right, we're uh, heading towards Kami's place. Now, here's the thing. I'm not entirely sure if I'm able to actually do this mission. I don't think I am. I think it's a level 75 or something like that, These uh, what these are. So that's probably why I'm skipping this uh, right now. I'm not high enough on level. Otherwise, I would do it for you guys. Just because I don't want you to miss any cutscene, possible cutscene with Mira or, or Toa and stuff like that. So we're just going to head out here. I feel pretty confident that we're, we're done with this whole uh, Team Go On thing. Let's head out for the actual Boo Art now. Uh, um, Piccolo, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure. Why are you still a Super Saiyan? Huh? I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. That's why I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. I see. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Huh? Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you need. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. <laughs> so, you got a more concrete training regimen planned? Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now. So you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. 
What you lack is mental fortitude. Mental fortitude? Your dad, he knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but why don't you try training with Vegeta? He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. And not just with others, but with himself, too. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. Alrighty then. Let's go do that, shall we? Let's go see uh, Vegeta at Capsule Corp. Uh, there's no Dragon Balls. There actually is a Dragon Ball in Ginger Town. So before collecting, well, I don't know. I might spawn into Capsule Corp. I'm not sh entirely sure, boys. But uh, if I do not, I might uh, take the the option to just get... To oh, no, I, I do... Uh, all right, so we're going to interact with Vegeta first. And ask him to train with us, I guess. And afterwards, let me see real quick though. Do we have any training that we got to do here? Are you ready to begin your Not training? Not if I, I still can't enhance. I need sturdy bolts. I got to defeat some droids for this shit. But um, I don't know, boys. I don't feel like doing it. Anyways, all right. Let's just go ahead and um, talk to Vegeta. He's probably going to be... Uh, not so happy to see me. I mean, he just wants to fight, really. So he's going to be happy about fighting me, maybe. What do you want? Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger. So something like that doesn't happen again. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Don't be absurd. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Huh? Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. All right, let's do it, Vegeta. What level are you, buddy? Oh, in the wasteland, huh? Interesting. Let's go. All right, he's going all out. 52, not bad, not bad, but uh, there's not even a point for me to be uh, Super Saiyan against you, my guy. All right, I guess I'll, I'll take it easy a little bit on you, buddy. I'll take it easy. There we go. I'll just punch you a little bit. I'm just going to take it a little bit easy on you. Now, if you take this a little bit too serious, though, I might have to... All right, there we go. Don't take this too serious, my guy. Nothing serious about this. I'll just throw a little coming out to you. How does that sound? There we go. Finish this quickly, my guy. How much he reminds me of him. V Vegeta? Nothing. We're done here. <laughs> Vegeta's like mormoning to himself. Talking to himself, boys. I don't think there's anything Vegeta can You're actually show uh, go on. You were holding back, weren't you? No, that's not true. A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot. Stupid child. Yeah, Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. I I need to do some serious soul searching. I, I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. My mom's not going to be happy about it, though. Well, she better, uh, she better f f uh, s uh, stick with it, all right? Who cares about what she thinks? Then is that you? What's going on? I've actually got a favor to ask. Could you come to the locket when you were free? Thank you sure so thing. Much. I think I know what he's going to do. Uh, I remember what that is. A is that a, uh, a main mission? Yes, it is. All right. I think it's just going to be a, a fetch quest, though, so, uh, boys. So I might be tempted to just uh, skip that part out. All right, boys. So we're back. Uh, took me about 20, 15, 20 minutes to do the side stuff and uh, acquired some Dragon Balls and all. Um, yeah, basically I talked to Ox King and everything. It turns out I can actually you choose between different characters. So I can actually use the different characters and stuff. So I, I didn't even know that. I thought I could only be Gohan. Maybe it's a thing since, uh, since uh, not so long ago. I don't know, but uh, 
I made that choice uh, to level up a little bit Tien, uh, not Tien, but Yamsha and Chatsu. Tien did level up a little bit too, uh, 40. And uh, basically these guys went from uh, 35 to 38 uh, for both Chatsu and Yamsha, which is really good for them. They needed that uh, little boost right there. Level for, uh, 53 for Piccolo as well, which is pretty close to Vegeta now. Uh, right now we're just going to go ahead and talk to Chi Chi. We're going to finish this up. And uh, I guess do the uh, this, uh, the main mission. All right, so I'm back as Gohan. Let's just go ahead and interact with her. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, I'm back. Yeah, all my the Dragon Balls and my party will be disbanded, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything. I think we're about uh, that time where we're gonna finally move on for the next arc. This was probably a good idea for me to maybe try to upgrade my part, my characters and all, but. Um, I've wasted enough time on my own time. I don't, I, I don't feel like transitioning any further than this. So let's just go on right now. Let's just do what we are supposed to do. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Okay, okay. I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? huh that'll be something. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. However, during times of peace, people have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Such is the fate of mankind. About seven years had passed since the confrontation with Cell. This is the quiet settlement of Satan City. Here resides Mr. Satan. The man mistakenly believed to have saved the planet. The city was renamed after him for his heroism. Gohan is now 16 years old. With no schools anywhere near his country home, he had no choice but to do homeschooling and correspondence courses. But eventually, his mother, Chi Chi, decided to send him to a high school in Satan City. Armed bandits began appearing so frequently in Satan City that Gohan began to run into them on his way to school from time to time. To combat the crime in the city, Gohan would transform into a Super Saiyan and make short work of those that disturb the peace. To protect his identity, Gohan made sure to leave the scene as quickly as possible. The mysterious hero came to be known as the Golden Fighter, and rumors quickly spread about his true identity. The Golden Fighter again, huh? Who the heck is this guy? That took way too long. I need to hurry. Here we go. Here we go, boys. We're oh, finally moving on seven years later. Look at us playing as Gohan as an adult. Uh, go on going by going to school. Obviously, we can't fly. We can't do anything We gotta reserve our key here preserve our key. I should say because we're going to school. We're having fun here All right, this is crazy though. I think that go on would waste all this potential just for to go to school Stupid shit right there, but oh well All right, so It's not like he needs money or anything, you know, he could just rob uh, banks and stuff or whatever it is go on after all. We can't obviously the party and all that. We gotta forget about all this shit. There was still level 72. I mean, I'm still far and beyond every other character. But uh, still, I, I mean, um, I there still need uh, needs to still uh, keep training. I mean, the other car the other villains, they're gonna be tough, man. Hi. You're the new guy, Gohan. Is that right? Yeah, that's me. Nice to meet you too. And this here's Videl. Why does she look angry all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with her? You won't believe this. Videl's dad is none other than the legendary Mr. Satan. No shit. Really? M M Mr. Satan? See, I told you you weren't gonna believe it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You were late today, weren't you? Did you happen to see the bank robbery in town? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. The Golden Fighter took out all the bandits. Uh, uh, okay. 
Why are you so interested in bank robberies? Well, you see, the doll's a bit of a crime fighter herself. Makes total sense though, right? She is Mr. Satan's daughter. She's really tough. The police even sometimes ask for her help. Wow, you don't say. You know, you've got the same build as the Golden Fighter. Are you trying to say here, exactly? Huh? Huh, I need to do something to mask my identity. Maybe I'll ask Bulma for her input. How about you don't do that because you all know how that's gonna end up and that's gonna end up pretty bad for you and everybody else. That stupid costume, I don't wanna see that shit. Please don't. <laughs> Look who you're talking to. This pushover's no match for a bunch of robbers. Hmm. We've got baseball practice up next, right? We'll find out if you're really tough enough to fight crime soon enough. You've got no hope of getting a hit off my pitches. <laughs> Gotta make sure I hold back most of my strength. Mom and Bulma both warned me to keep my power in check to avoid causing a huge uproar. Man, it sure is hard living a normal life. Shit must be hard as hell, man. It's just like Superman, really. Trying to hide his powers and stuff in public. It's like, holy shit. We're playing baseball, boys. Let's go. My ultra fastball. Ultra fastball? What kind of a ship is that? Easy. Sounds like some uh, uh, steroid shit, my guy. You gotta ch get yourself uh, your sh ch you check up. Hit off me. All right, you, that's what you think, huh? All right, we're playing baseball, boys, and Dragon Ball. That's crazy. Oh my god, he, I got a strike. Holy shit. All right, hold on, hold on now. I'm not gonna get again and get. There we go. I got you, buddy. A four seam. You can just throw a four seam on my ass and I'm not gonna and not expect me to just do a home run. Come on, that's what? a given pitch. You actually hit my pitch. Well you gave me a four seam. Why did you just hit a softball or something, you stupid idiot? I I just got lucky, that's all. Yeah, 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 you're right. Your stance was way off too. Wow, so even that was too much. I'll head to Bulma's place later and ask her for some advice. All right, we're in Something's some trouble up. here. Not mess things up with me, man. We're all good. And so after school, Guan made his way to West City and stopped by uh, Capsule Corporation. Talk so we're about Bulma. to ask Bulma to I'll make us a costume. Basically, that's what's gonna happen. We already know what's gonna happen. Fucking Great Simon's gonna be, uh, be born. That's gonna probably the most horrible idea um, Guan ever had, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, keep it easy, boys.